Here are some changes in cardiac physiology after a heart transplant. The innervation changes. When you have a transplant, you have a surgical division of the cardiac plexus, which means that you have complete denervation of the donor heart. This means that you lose some parasympathetic input, and the patient with the transplant will have a higher baseline heart rate, 90 to 110 beats per minute. This denervation also results in reduced heart rate variability. Heart rate control comes from the donor atrium. The donor atrium controls the heart rate, not the recipient atrial remnant. The recipient atrial remnant will, re will remain innervated, but there are no electrical impulses that go across the suture lines from the recipient atrial remnant to the donor atrium. So the, recip so the recipient's atrial remnant will not influence heart rate. There are some changes in hemodynamic response. Your frank starling mechanism remains intact. This means that if you have a sudden volume reduction, you'll still get the same primary response. You'll have an increase in stroke volume as long as you have adequate preload. You will not have an immediate heart rate or contractility increase as you would in a native heart. You'll still get a secondary response. Circulating catecholamines can increase your heart rate and contractility. You still have normal drug responses to um, direct acting agents like isoproteranol, epinephrine, norepinephrine, dopamine, and dobutamine. All of these will have a normal response. Anticholinergic drugs like atropine and glycopyrrolate will have a minimal effect on the heart rate, and anticholinesterases will have an unpredictable response. There's some clinical implications. The transplanted heart is heavily preload dependent. Again, you'll have a quick primary response if you have adequate preload to increase your stroke volume. You'll have a higher resting heart rate, which means you have less reserve capacity for increased demand. You'll have a loss of normal compensatory mechanism, so you'll rely more on stroke volume changes.